Hello and welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Angela Ramsey and this is Kendall. Hi. And we're going to show you how to make our recipe for Mahi Mahi Fish Bowls. We picked up everything that we need from our local Ingalls, so let's get started. Right here on the skillet, we have some olive oil that is sauteing some Mahi Mahi fillets. I love getting these fillets in the frozen section of Ingalls. Um, they do have an option for wild caught. And we have a fisherman in our family that catches wild fish sometimes, don't we? Who's that? That's my brother, Colton. That's right. He's actually, where is he right now? Mm, fishing. So we had to learn to make quite a few fish recipes. <laughs> so if we don't have fresh wild caught fish, the next best thing for us is going right into Ingalls frozen section and finding these wild caught fillets there. Wild caught is a little different than farm raised. Why do we like wild caught better? Mm, because it's... Where are the fish swimming when they're wild caught? Mm, out in the ocean. Out in the ocean. So they have availability for more nutrient rich diets because they can get a more diverse diet. And when they do that, we're getting that also. When we're eating it, we're getting a healthier diet. So we try to get wild caught when it's available, but there's also some good farm raised um, options at Ingalls as well. So we have our mahi mahi fillets de thawed and sauteing here. They're looking good and smelling good. And we already made some quinoa. Just follow the instructions on the package there. Ingalls has some great quinoa. We like to wash it first and rinse it. Make sure you do that. Don't skip that, a very important step. But the package that we actually found at Ingalls was already washed and already rinsed for us. So it cut out some of that time and we got to go ahead and cook it and it's all ready for you right here. We made it with water today, but if you have broth available, it just adds more vitamins and minerals to your bowl. And then we've made some black beans, right? We've already cooked those up on the stove top. We have some lime slices, some pink salt, some lettuce, cilantro, red cabbage, all of this from our produce section at Ingalls Markets. Avocado, we pack as much produce as we can into these fish bowls, don't we? So all we do is lay all this out as a buffet on the countertop. It makes a really fun meal if you have company over, if you just want to do a quick dinner. This fish cooks in less than 15 minutes. The quinoa can be cooking at the same time, and you've got dinner within 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and start building our bowl. You want to show them how we do it? We put the base of the quinoa. Okay, and then we're just going to build on top. We'll build a bowl like Daddy likes. Put a lot of quinoa down there. Then some chips sprinkled on top. True, we can't forget that. I'm gonna put the black beans over here in the corner. That's some good protein. And then we're gonna put some chips. And she's right. You wanna go ahead and crumble it up? Go ahead, Kendall, let's go. She's gonna crumble up some good blue chips here. You can use whatever kind of corn chips that you like, we, we happen to like the blue, so we got blue today. I used to hear when I was younger, guess what my mom used to tell me? What? A colorful plate is a healthy plate. Do I say that to you sometimes? This plate's gonna be super colorful. We're gonna put some purple in here, purple cabbage. There we go. There's no rhyme or reason to this, just let everybody get what they want and that way your guests can pick and choose. This is a really easy, fun way to put things together. Do a little pink salt on the top. Pink salt adds a different flavor than your regular salt, so make sure you get the pink salt right. We're gonna squeeze a little lime <laughs> over top of here. Here you go, Kendall. And do you wanna add a few tomatoes and decorate it while I get the avocado going? Okay, so for your avocado, just slice it right down the middle. That's gonna create a nice cut. Take your spoon, take that middle nut out, and then take your knife and go horizontal all the way down through. That's gonna create some nice slices, and give you some nice big fresh pieces of avocado. And then all you do, oh yeah, that looks great. 
all you do is just scoop it out, put it right there on the top. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You can do it however you'd like. Did we get all our ingredients today? I think we did. Now it's time to add the fish. Ready? Okay, I think it's ready. So we did four of these nice mahi-mahi fillets. Look at that. When you dethaw these, make sure you don't thaw them out in the original packaging. Try to take them out before thawing. Put them in a little Ziploc bag or a bowl inside your refrigerator for 24 hours or in the sink under cold running water. We like to slice those up because it makes more of the meat go around, doesn't it? Here we go. That's exactly how we want it. We want that fish nice and flaky. There's no bones in this either. You don't have to watch out for that either. We're just gonna add that whole filet here right on top of our fish bowl. And we've got a nice nutrient and mineral rich meal all in one bowl that way, don't we? Just gonna add that in the top. Here we go. Thank you for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Be sure to check out our website for, for more tips, tricks, and recipes. Bye, we'll see you in the next video.